Hey everybody and welcome! This is our Christmas special episode. If you celebrate Christmas, you'll like this episode. If you don't celebrate Christmas, you'll probably like it even more. Chef has actually cooked up some reindeer balls. That's right, Santa Claus is not coming to town. That can't be right. Chef, are you playing a... <gasps> Rudolph! Oh my god, Chef, you are one sadistic f We are actually cooking venison, barbecue venison meatballs. Great little fun appetizer to bring. We cooked up a couple batches and had a lot of team members try this as well as friends, and we had a lot of great reviews, so we think you're going to like this. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get cooking. First thing you want to do is start off with about two pounds of venison, fully thawed. Venison does contain pork. A lot of butchers will add pork to it, so be mindful. Put it in a bowl and then just set it aside for a second. Go ahead and add some breadcrumbs and milk to another bowl. And then add an egg. Some Italian seasonings. And some Parmesan cheese. As well as a little bit of oil. And Chef, I saw that one-headed egg crack. I'm glad you're back to that. And a little bit of heat, some chili powder. And then just fold this all in and uh, mix this together thoroughly. This paste is actually going to be not only just flavor and seasoning, but it's going to help hold that meat together when you make those meatballs. Go ahead now and add some salt to your uh, venison, a little bit of pepper, and then some garlic powder. And now go ahead and add your paste in. And Chef's just going to go ahead and take a couple minutes to fold this in. And he said fold it in very thoroughly. Make sure it's well blended. That's some good folding, Chef. Chef wanted to point out that this is a very cheap meal. Uh, venison balls are under a buck. <laughs> I'm so funny. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our bacon cut. So Chef's going to cut these into thirds. And what the hell kind of third is that? Chef went to public schools. I'm very sorry, everybody. He did stand corrected. He did apologize. He said you can cut them in halves if you want. But Now just go ahead and pull the strips of bacon apart and then just place them on a plate because you'll be wrapping the uh, meatballs down the road. So with a small uh, little ice cream scoop chef said to purchase and then just use that to make the meatballs. You even have to really get your hands in there or anything. Chef uses this for a lot of different, uh, some of his dips and different things that he cooks. He'll be showing you later but he said to invest in one of these and make a great purchase. And he's doing all this now and he's going to wrap them all later because it's easier just to uh, get the meatballs plated and then wrap them in bacon he said. So plate up all your meatballs and then just take a piece of bacon, wrap it around put a toothpick through it and then uh, that's it go on to the next one so just go through all that and it's really easy we're gonna go ahead and actually take a minute to let chef play with his meat for a little bit and uh, we actually want to take a minute to thank uh, a radio station that we've been working with lately it's uh, WRFZ 106.3 FM Rochester free radio chef has been working in with uh, Ron he's uh, one of our team members we haven't named much of our team members lately but Ron's one of them, kind of does marketing with us and is getting our name out there. He's been with us for a little while. And he introduced us to uh, Rochester Free Radio. And the show is actually called Two Guys and a Girl. And I know what you're thinking. I saw that in college. I know I saw the same one. But it's actually a great show. It airs every Sunday from 6 to 8. And you can listen to them if you're near Rochester. Or you can actually download the Tulin app, which is spelled T-U-N-E-L-N, -E and uh, on your phone. So you can do that. Um, they talk about everything from just helping out the community to rehab uh, to addiction. So, great channel. Thank you very much, two guys and a girl. Chef went ahead and put those in the oven at 350 degrees. He's going to do that for 20 minutes. And he's going to make his uh, glaze, which is just honey and barbecue sauce. About 3 to 1 ratio. He's not making much because there's only so many. But once after 20 minutes is up, he's going to pull them out and just glaze them with the brush. He tried putting them in the bowl, as you can see, but he said it didn't really work out that well, so he uh, would just in mind glazing them. Once they're glazed, put them back in for five minutes. He then again took them out, 
and he's going to reglaze them again. So it's been five minutes. And he reglazed them. He's going to put them back in for five more minutes and then fully take them out. So 20 minutes, five minutes, five minutes. And there you are. There's Dasser, Dancer. There's Prancer and Vixen. Oh, here comes Comet and Cupid. Oh, look at them. Oh, good. And, of course, Donner and Blixen. But do you know the most tasty reindeer of all? Ah, oh, that's right. It's Rudolph. Where the hell is he? Did he already eat him? Oh, no, there he is. <laughs> we hope everyone actually did enjoy this meal, uh, this recipe. Uh, very fun. Oh, those are the two reindeer that got away. Damn it. We'll get them later. We do hope everyone does try this recipe. If you are able to get to venison, if you have venison available, try it. Of course, um, if you don't, you can use other meats as well. But came out great. We had a lot of great reviews. We want to again thank Two Guys and a Girl at 106.3 FM Register Free Radio for all your help. We've been underwriting them, and they've been giving some shout-outs to us. And they do so much for the community, so check them out. All their descriptions will be posted in the links below. You can get to them. Check them out in the description below will be everything. Again, we want to thank everyone. Have a safe and very uh, happy holiday. Check out in the descriptions below for um, the ingredients to this and all the measurements. As well as on screen, they're going to pop up is going to be um, our last video, our blog channel, as well as our team member. Go ahead and click on her to subscribe. All the Cooking Corner wants for Christmas is for you to watch our video and share it and subscribe. Okay, so we ask a lot. Thanks again for joining us. Always remember, cooking should be fun. Have fun doing it.